anti-prism stack, 36 tiles, 66 connectors. So we are gonna build six triangular anti-prisms and then we're gonna see what happens if you just stack them. Okay, so that'll be kind of fun. Once again, to do the uh, triangular anti-prism, it's all spiral flush connections and we're putting connectors on adjacent edges, not across. And this is really how hyper tiles seem to naturally go together. Uh, it's a cool shape in as much as it gives you two beautiful equilateral triangles that can then be used to connect other triangles and also this beautiful smooth circle in the middle. So there's one of them. We'll put the rest of these together in the same way. Okay, we built four of these triangular anti-prisms. I'm gonna make the, sorry, we built five of them. I'm gonna make the sixth one here. Just to remind you, they're spiral connections, flush, and we're always putting the connectors on adjacent edges as we go kind of back and forth and create this triangular anti-prism. We're then gonna take these and simply stack them. Um, that simple. Compared to some of the other things we've made with these triangular anti-prisms, this has to be the simplest because they obviously stack triangle to triangle, right? But the um, question is how tall can you make it? And here's something funny to tell you. Um, in the, we'll go Roy G. Biv. <laughs> In all the pictures I get sent, I got sent one um, of people you know, making their different hyper tile creations, coming up with amazing stuff. And with the stack idea came from this one classroom um, where they had built one that literally went all the way from the floor to the ceiling and they ran out of room. But, so there we go, I'm putting the six there. You could probably get by with fewer than that, like every other one, but you know what? Might as well make it uh, as sturdy as possible, especially if you're going to try to, you know, build some 20 foot tall stack. So got that, then we can hinge this down and make these other connections. Um, and when you're, sometimes it's hard to get like that. You can sometimes just go like this and squeeze it together from the outside, uh, like that. So all these connectors are going to make this extra stable and we're just now going to keep doing that with the yellow, the green, the blue.
Okay, so here we are. We're gonna add on this final layer of our stack here. We're looking straight down it with this perspective. Um, and uh, what makes this an especially fun uh, group project, if you're in the classroom and stuff like that, um, is obviously individuals could be making the distinct uh, triangular anti-prisms. They can just be mass producing those as others are you know, working on stacking them together. So it can definitely be something that everyone contributed to. And um, how tall could this be? This right here appears to be what about maybe, I don't know, 40 centimeters tall. Um, I imagine <laughs> that it could be even um, probably over 10 feet tall and still be fine. 10, could you go 10 meters? I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll have our, <laughs> our viewers send in their best efforts on that. Um, but uh, yeah, there it is. Beautiful, very spiky. All the edges are bonded, of course, except for the top and bottom. I guess so you could attach this to some board so that it would, uh, you know, not be uh, something that would fall over as easily. And then I don't know, the sky's the limit then. But um, so there we have it, the anti-prism stack. 